Right. Hi, today we're doing this interview with someone um, from Dilton Marsh called Luke. He's going to tell us about something special going on in December. Um, so when we got into free, we can talk to him. So where do you get the money to actually do all this anyway? Um, so most of this um, came from the council. Um, they gave us a grant. Um, Is that council? Uh, sorry, uh, Dilton Marsh Parish Council. Right, okay. Uh, so they gave us a grant right. um, to help uh, because obviously uh, Sam and her family um, and then Mike uh, put their hands in their back pocket um, and produced it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so we obviously couldn't do it again this year right? because um, they spent quite a lot of money themselves last year. Right. Um, so we've asked, we reach, reached out to the Parish Council um, as this is a community float. Right. And we want it to be part of the community, part of Dilton Marsh. Um, so we reached out to the parish council. Um, they they gave us um, some funds okay. um, to get started, um, and then basically um, along the way we've picked up some sponsors, mm -hmm. um, quality vans of Dilton Marsh. Um, right. They have donated um, our high visibility jackets um, for the night, um, and then uh, all drainage. Uh, services in Westbury. Um, they are donating all the uh, lighting equipment for the sleigh. Uh -huh. um, and then our third uh, sponsor um, is Mirrard Signs in Warminster. And they've donated all the uh, escort vehicle signs for the safety cars. So we're going to be going out on the 10th, Friday the 10th of December. Mm -hmm. okay. um, the float will leave Clivey at 6 pm. Right. And we'll travel through um, into Clearwood and up Stormall uh, into the High Street. It will then um, go into the various uh, offcuts, mm -hmm. which um, the full p the full route for Friday night can be found on our um, Dilt Marsh Community Santa's page on Facebook. Right. Um, and then basically, uh, it will stop at the chip shop um, out or outside Dilt Marsh chip shop um, for the first night. And then we will continue then on um, after, on the Saturday the 11th, um, from the chip shop, going up to the um, residence home, mm -hmm. um, and then following through to Petticoat Lane and back through Dilton Marsh. Uh, again, the route can be found on our Facebook page. And that's actually got the map where you're going to be and everything, is it? It's got the list of na road names that we're going to be doing. Right. Uh, we are going to try and run a tracker system. Um, right, is that from the actual from um, the actual vehicle? float itself? Okay. Um, so, but it will be our first year of running the tracker, so we're uh, not 100% sure it will. Hit and miss if it works or not. Yeah, um, but we will going to try and send out a tracking location. Okay. Um, so that people can see us at all times. Talking about Santa, who have you got for Santa? Do you actually ask Santa to come along or? We have, yeah, we have uh, asked for an appearance. Right. Um, and he has. Uh, confirmed his invitation. Oh, lovely! That's uh, good. So he will be attending uh, the event. Lovely. Uh, I think most children want to see that, won't they? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a great um, it's great uh, to see their faces. Oh yes, definitely lighting up um, lights and everything. Santa uh, sitting on the back. Yeah. So it's the old float from last year. So I'll take you around. Let me have a look. Obviously, <laughs> it's done in the hobby because locked down last year. and everything like that to go with what you're doing for that date. Yep. 
Okay, so um, we've got Sam. Mm -hmm. um, she's our head of design. Okay. Um, she's designed all the uh, the sleigh uh, and the reindeer and everything nice. um, for this year. Uh -huh. um, we've got um, Sam, um, sorry, uh, Ashley Coldrake right. um, and Mike Miles. Uh -huh. They're the um, head of construction. Right. Um, so they've actually put the sleigh um, together, right. um, fixed it all apart and put all the um, decorations on mm -hmm. and everything. My role is to look after the floats uh, when it's on, on parade, right. um, the safety aspects and everything. Uh, we, ha we will have runners, um, uh, door knockers, right. going to each door um, to, uh, for, our spon um, for our charities, right. uh, Wiltshire Air Ambulance and Macmillan. Right, that's, good. Um, that's our two main charities for this year. Also uh, a lot of us have uh, been involved with Wiltshire Air Ambulance um, before um, Sam's mother was uh, airlifted right. uh, by Air Ambulance and we all know people that have suffered uh, from cancer uh, yeah. and obviously the support network that Macmillan um, gives to them. Um, yeah. It's been a challenge this year um, because we've had to put in uh, place uh, sort of you know public liabilities insurance, yeah. um, a music license and everything like that. Uh, whereas yeah, that was cost, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it has come to a cost, um, which obviously we've, you know, we've purchased ourselves, um, and we hope that the community will get behind us mm -hmm. um, and donate, um, so that we can retain some of that cost back for next year. Yes. Um, so that we can come out bigger and better. All right. Is there anybody else you'd like to add, like any bigger stores or you know people that might help out with all this or? Yeah, um, so uh, obviously we've had some donations from a couple um, of companies, um, B&Q of Trowbridge, um, Lidl of Westbury, uh, Travis Perkins of Trowbridge, uh, Proper Job of Trowbridge, Homebase of Froom. All those companies have uh, donated uh, products uh, to us to help with, um, with the construction of the sleigh. Great stuff. Well, thank you very much, Luke, for letting us know what's going on and telling us all the thing about what is happening on that day and who's been donating, etc. And we'll see where we come from all that, shall we? Yeah, um, if you'd like to come along um, to the Diltmar Santa Float, um, it's sort of 10th and 11th of uh, December at 6pm on both evenings. And uh, if you'd like to follow us on our Dilton Marsh Community Santa Float page, then uh, you can also uh, see all the information uh, on that. It would be lovely to see you on the night. Thank you.